Welcome everyone to the Stop Devaluation Movement Culture of Validation interview with my special guest, Lynn Taylor, who is the president of Taylor Protocols, and he is a leadership and business development expert. He has been such a mentor to me and uh, so much investment, Lynn, that you have made in my life uh, has meant the world to me. And so I know that the things that you're going to communicate today are going to impact the lives of so many. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. It's a privilege, a privilege. You know, Lynn, uh, I think one of the greatest opportunities we have as leaders is to create a culture that values and supports one another, you know, whether it's the family unit, a business, government, the educational system, you know, wherever it is, you know, in your experience, how does someone build a culture that validates those with whom they partner with? Well, uh, it's been mostly through business and, and um, Melody, I went and developed the uh, Core Values Index because I was doing turnarounds of, of businesses and and uh, successful in the turnaround, but not successful in building a culture and building um, a, a group of people who were truly uh, top performers in, in all positions. And, and um, I, I've, I found that I was not able to do that. I was able to get people to do more for me than they would, would for someone else. I was a good leader a good mentor, a good motivator, and um, and people uh, uh, responded well to my to my leadership. So I was able to succeed with that, but not to the level that that I was promising and that I saw that I should uh, do. So um, I, I saw that the, there was no answer to the question: How do I consistently put a right person in a right seat? That became my framing question, just like it did for medical diagnostic imaging kinds of systems I created. Um, and I set out to to find out um, how to solve that problem. And the first thing I did was look to see if it had been solved or approached by anyone. And I found that uh, the answer was no, unequivocally, no, no one had ever uh, changed it. And I did that um, uh, judgment by, has anybody ever uh, caused the Alfredo Pareto 80-20 principle to be um, overcome and and made void? Uh, And the answer to that was no. Um, So um, I then looked at the technologies. I I looked at the things that were available. And um, uh, basically, I I saw that the computers now were uh, were stronger and able to handle things uh, better than before. In 83, we're just coming into the PC world. Um, And I saw that we were getting distributed computers. Um, So on the back of that, uh, I set out to create um, uh, the first instrument that would measure what Maslow called the innate, essentially unchanging nature of a person. And I found Maslow while I was doing my research to try to find solutions. Um, and um, that wasn't a solution uh, because that was a vision he had back in the uh, 1940s uh, and, and earlier, a uh, long time ago now. And, um, uh, it, but it became, it became my uh, focusing point. I had to create a, a, a new methodology, a human assessment, and I wanted to do that in less than 10 minutes, which I did. And um, that would show us what the innate, essentially unchanging nature of a person is. Uh, we've done that. We found the, that it just consists of four discrete human energies and that we were able to measure those. So we get a recipe uh, of capacities that a person has to be uh, one of the uh, core value energies at any moment in time and, and how easy or hard it is to shift. So we not only know what, what the person is comprised of, but we know what that um, uh, unique design of the person uh, causes them to have as a life challenge and as a life opportunity. So that is what I am teaching, and that is the solution to uh, validation, which is to know at the innate, unchanging level who the person really is, despite how they're working with their adaptive personality, and to have a way to put that person, regardless of their history and education and background, put them in a job where who they are at this deep level is the balance of energy needed in the work of the job. 
uh, Dr. David Mashburn is uh, was my prime mentor uh, in this. Um, uh, three PhDs and and uh, years of leadership and and uh, evaluation of uh, of uh, more than twelve hundred assessments that he wrote uh, reviews on. And um, uh, he when he took the CBI, he was he was um, really really impressed, and he became now. Uh, a member of a company where uh, they're doing all their leadership work with the CBI. And he says, uh, and said for many years now, that the reason uh, Taylor Protocols um, succeeds in, in um, you know, putting right people in right seats is because we are, for the first time, looking at the real energy that exists in a human being, the balance of four uh, discrete energies, and comparing that to the uh, human energy balance of, of the same energies uh, that exist in a given job. What, what, are the, what are the energies needed to do the work of that job? And we're making that match for the first time. So we truly have solved a, a remarkable thing, which is how do you put a um, any person uh, into a seat where they can make uh, their highest and best contribution, and they become a top performer uh, in their in their business in their society. That is so powerful because it is such a powerful key that validates who that person is. What do you believe are some solutions? for our culture to dismantle the fears that divide us? Well, I, I think the, um, the reason I'm here on the planet is is to have discovered how to put a right person in a right seat. So the first methodology for me now that we have this solution is to get millions of people moved into a right seat, even if they are not um, uh, socially mature, uh, even if they're not um, uh, self-aware uh, at any kind of a, a, a real deep level. Uh, if you put a person where who they are is what is needed all day long in the work that they're given to do, they tend to do that work better than anyone else that does not have that nature. So they become part of that top 20% of the people that, that produce 80% of the value. So they are they are lifted up in their value uh, dramatically, and from that place, uh, their fears begin to fade. So to me, it's a real uh, societal restructuring to try to put as many people as possible, as many of the 80% of all people who are in wrong seats, uh, to move them up into uh, their right position. And it's the best thing that a company can do. It yes. increases human productivity by two or 300% when we do this uh, globally over the entire population. Uh, it's incredible. And all of that money becomes pr uh, increased pre-tax profit. So I'm all about lifting uh, every human being and every company in, in the country into their place of highest and best contribution. Lynn, thank you so much for investing all this time, your heart, your knowledge into just everyone who is listening so that they could First of all, see their values, see their worth. Secondly, even connect to Taylor Protocols. And I know even individuals who have connected with me just to see what they carry so validates them. And they go, yes, this is who I am. It really is justice driven. It is value driven. And it partners people together to see one another's worth. And that's Beautiful, Lynn. I so appreciate all you are and all that you do. Well, thank you very much, Melody. I appreciate your work as well. And and uh, this is a, a privilege for me to, to talk and share this with you. And um, I, I'm doing anything I can to lift you up to your place. Well, and you do do that. Thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you. I want to thank you for listening and encourage you to become a part of the Stop Devaluation Movement. Be sure to like and follow hashtag Stop Devaluation on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and visit StopDevaluation.com for more information and free resources. You can help spread the movement by sharing with others, leaving a review on Apple Podcasts, and most of all, by living a courageous lifestyle of using your power for good. Go out and value someone today 
Your life matters and you can make the world a better place. One word, one choice, one action of validation at a time.